one of the brand new all entertainment shows that's uh, come to CBS and Channel 11 is the new Bill Cosby show. Now, one of the principal entertainers on that is our guest today, Lola Falana. Now, Lola is a girl of many talents. She sings, she dances, she does uh, skits in the show. And uh, I, what I can't understand is that Cosby announced his retirement. Now, how come he's back on the scene again? <laughs> because once a performer, always a performer. I mean, I, I'm not saying he's a ham. We all are in a sense, so you couldn't get before thousands of people and perform. But you can't quit. I mean, you can slow down, you can take a rest, but you just don't stop. You think Sinatra will change his mind? Hey, do you mean to tell me you really think, anybody really thinks he'll never sing another note until he's just gone? I don't know. But Benefit or something, he'll find a reason to hit that floor. Uh -huh. I mean, it's just, it's just something that's as natural as a bird to sing. But I can't understand Cosby being as young as he is, saying, you know, hanging up his gloves, as it were, and saying he wouldn't perform. Well, because, you see, he had a dream before he went into show business as being a college student, to be a teacher, etc. So he really, like, clashed two careers. It's not like he didn't have anything else to do, sit around and be nothing. And nobody, he wants to teach. I guess he wants his cake and eat it, too, and he's going to have to find a way to fit that schedule together. You do a lot of things so well. You dance, you sing. When you sing and dance, it's the most electrifying thing on the stage. You've got moves that there should be a law against. <laughs> but you're gonna, and you take part in some of the funny uh, skits, too. You like that? Oh, I like comedy better than dramatic stuff. I mean, I like to watch dramatic movies. But for me, I prefer comedy right now. And maybe as I mature in life, you see, maybe I'll become a better dramatic person. But for now, it's not me. What do you see yourself as adding to the Cosby Show? I hope energy, excitement, femininity, um, talent. <laughs> um, the musical portion, is how Cosby's not known as a great singer-dancer, you know, a little move here and there, a uh, <laughs> note or three. And uh, it's got to be some things where they need females in their skits. I hope it's, just, you know. I'm a great fan of yours. I, I love to see you move. It seems to me that kind of dancing and that kind of movement that you do can't be taught. I mean, I don't think you can go to school or a dancing class for that. The fundamental steps, the fundamental choreography is taught. I started ballet when I was three and a half. Ballet, African culture, jazz, modern, tap, straight through. It's like everybody learns to walk. But some walk with a certain gait. Some walk <laughs> bow-legged or whatever. Everybody walks, but everybody doesn't walk the same. It's the same with dancing. A lot of dancers can do the same steps. But because of individual characteristics and style, I had my own flair for those same steps, you know. Yes. That's why I couldn't do ballet, because I'd always drop my hip or <laughs> flick a wrist, which ballet dancers done, too. It's very theatrical and very effective. Who influenced you? Who, who, who um, sings and dances in a style that you admire? It's difficult to say. As I grew up, the most important influence was Sammy Davis, but as a youngster, I would say I was most influenced by, I guess, my own daydreams, my own um, bigger-than-life sort of fantasies. And I was always in the mirror with things, and I would get the broom and use it as a microphone, <laughs> you know. I mean, I created so many incredible things in my head, and I was going to be coming down sweeping staircases like the movies. But when it really came to be, I was so geared for fantasy and bigger than life that I, when I hit the stage, I just did it, you know. I mean, it's because that's what I always thought of myself as doing. Do you think that TV is the proper vehicle for what you do? Yes. I Rather think, than the clubs? I think I'm a visual performer. Clubs are very good because clubs are very important for people to get that personal touch, which they can't get from television. Television I must do as script is written. I can't talk to them. I can't step out of it and say, hi. But that's what nightclub's good for. But for television, in order for them to come to the clubs and see you, they must first know you. Television introduces us, gives them a chance to decide, do I like her? Will I get dressed and go out in the evening to see her? You know, do I think that she's fun and entertaining? It seems to me that TV would be particularly matched for your expressive face, like for close-ups, because your face is always moving and live, and your eyes are always darting and expressive. I'll, I'll, I'm high-strung <laughs> and neurotic. Um, um, you know, but I, it's, uh, it's, when I wake up, I mean, it's up. If I slow down, then it's time for me to go to sleep. 
I'm uh, unless I'm unhappy, which isn't very often. Knock on wood. You're you haven't been married for a long time, have you? About One year, July 30th. You've got a wonderful married name. Your husband's name is Feliciano Tavares. Oh, you say that lovely. <laughs> is that right? And my real name is Lolita Falana, so that makes me, by his name and mine, Lolita v Lolita Falana Vieira Tavares. That's fabulous, that's no? A, that's a <laughs> groovy. But uh, you, oh, you made Lola out of Lolita. My name is Lolita. Uh, they call you and Lola. They come, yeah. Lola Falana sounds like a wonderful Italian dish of some kind. Well, I am Italian, you know. Something pasta with it, yes. Well, I lived I in Italy for a year. I speak Italian very well. Would you like to say something to our channel 11 audience? Si, buongiorno, signore e signore. E benvenuti. E, uh, Dígame, ¿cómo está? Muy bien. Muy bien, aunque yo. That's very nice. Do you have high hopes for this series? I think. I have high hopes for it. We all have high hopes for it. The most important thing is when the people decide if they love us or not, then our future is straight. Is Cosby fun to work with? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is God, yes. You, oh, you have uh, uh, Foster Brooks uh, adds a comedy touch to the program. Now, Foster used to work for the radio station with which we're affiliated, and many people here in Louisville know him. You also have uh, a great producer uh, who's got a good George track record. Schlatter. Schlatter was from uh, Laugh-In. Yes, and Mark Warren was there for a while. He's our director. Right. Mm -hmm. So you've got some very good people. Do they pay you a lot of money for this show? Yeah. You deserve it? Oh, yeah. That was very hard. The fact that I have to get up early in the morning means I deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> How about your costume, those great costumes you wear now? Who, who supplies that? The studio. And if I were charming and cunning, perhaps I could get a couple of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 I only take a few yards of material. That's right. What, is what it? size do you wear, about a six? Five. Five. Yeah. And if it's a... Um, Sometimes I go in the junior miss department and shop pretty, you know, 13 or 14 year olds. Some of them are pretty big, They're bigger than me. Yeah. Some of them, some of them even have to wear certain undies that I don't even have to wear. <laughs> <laughs> and on that intimate note, we say, hasta luego. A ciao. A ciao to you. Lola Fanana, she's one of the great ones, and she's on the new Bill Cosby show on Channel 11 and CBS. Thank you, Lola. Thank much. you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.